Anthony Wilson shows us inside the apartment where a bullet just missed hitting a baby. He joins us live on the scene. Anthony. John and Barbara, repair work is underway now at the apartment where all this took place overnight. A lot of people in this community very scared after what they heard and saw during that standoff. People who live at the Edgewood Bridge apartments say it's usually a quiet place. So while the police activity during a tense standoff forced an evacuation of nearby apartments, one woman told us they've responded to calls about Richard Smith, the man arrested overnight, before. The police has come out here and, um, and they never take him away. You know, he would just sit in the car when they leave. But this time, when a bullet came through a wall into a neighboring apartment, armed law officers spent hours outside before finally capturing him. The windows out back apparently broken by authorities during their work to bring him in without injury to anyone. His next door neighbors who don't want their faces on camera tell me Smith's harassed them for about six months. Then they heard last night's shot that pierced the wall between their apartments. Here's some of the damage it left inside a kitchen cabinet. The man who lives here had just gotten his daughter out of the tub and was drying her off standing close to where I am right now. And that same bullet that went inside that cabinet came through this open door, passing him and his daughter and hit this television, then wound up in that wall over there. One of the people told to leave their apartments during the standoff did not know about that damage until we told her. It could have been one of us, you know. It could have been anybody. It could have been a lot worse. And now that the standoff's over, with no one hurt, what was the accused shooter's motive? We do not know. Um, we have not talked to him that much. Um, He's being transported to Granville County Detention Center now. Have you had, as far as you know, any interaction with this person in the past? So we have had some interactions with him in the past. Um, uh, nothing like this. People living here, especially Smith's next door neighbors, hope he stays locked up for a while this time. Reporting from Granville County, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.